determine no if Sunday Shrooms will if they have a chance to be able to fight against a team like Pacific Magda and we're going to see mm. that the first pick galing sa side ng Pacific Magda is actually going to be compound tapos yung sunod Sunday Shrooms is going for a black Widow pick, which I think is a, a good pick for them. Kait papano, kasi alam natin Black Widow, uh, great equalizer. Well, Mexico is the great equalizer, but subay natin itong uh, you know a very big. Uh, ano yun? Lahat ng tao sa Pilipinas alam tong Black Widow na to. Eh. And of course, yung decider map natin is going to be Port. Yeah, for sure. Compound. Uh, I would have expected itong Magda to actually pick ang Eagle Eye, considering they need practice dun sa map nayon, especially on officials. Pero Oh, there we go. Oh. Sunday Shrooms pala yun. Okay, th- this makes a lot more sense. This makes okay. a lot more sense. Sunday Shrooms, of course, they're gonna pick itong compound maybe to try and neutralize yung offense dito ng Pacific Magta since they're gonna start off sa blacklist dito sa map na to. Main objectives para sa Sunday Shrooms to try and deny mid control, try and deny those uh, starting plays na pwedeng gawin dito mm. ng Magta by making the map a lot smaller. And it's gonna be interesting to see kung anong kaya nilang gawin dito sa compound. But Magta has experience sa map na yun, so it's gonna be, you know, I would say 50-50 yung compound at the moment. If they can start things off really well dito sa defense nila, then that would be really nice. Magda picking Black Widow makes a lot more sense kasi kasama yun dun sa isa sa mga magandang mapa nila dito sa kanila. Map pool, Black Widow, of mm-hmm. course, yun nga, the map of the entire country dito na Pilipinas. They play, they play it the most uh, from what I've noticed dito sa mga servers natin. Magda, for the longest time, they love this map so would it be surprised if they just take map 2. Map 3... Not so sure if we're gonna Sport. make it dito sa map 3 port pero port could yeah. be interesting no depende talaga kung anong uh, pormahan ni Revenge dito sa the best of three natin is kasi yun nga he's gonna be the guy assigned as that sniper either sa top A or dito sa bridge but they also have the option of running in double snipers kasama dito si Zik so yun nga a lot of options para dito sa Makta dito sa Vito natin I, I gusto ko din i-point out no I, I guess for the side of Sunday Shrooms gulat ako na hindi sila pumuesto dun sa Mexico as a map pick kasi last season Mexico wasn't really the best map for Pacific Makta and they instead pick this compound map na well here we are si Sumulana and Damn. we're just gonna go straight to a fight here as nakita natin dito sa side ng Sunday Shroom sila yung GR at BL naman sa Pacific Makta and manonotice mo agad no yung dalawang miyembro dito ng Sunday Shrooms may AWM na hawak so they want to do that mm. double sniper and mukhang first blood na punta sa kanilang kamay yeah Zik gonna pick up the sniper he's also very capable dito sa baril na to Chuma is still peaking Dito sa store okay. B and yung double sniper setup dito sa compound is not actually that common. So I think gusto nila makuha ng uh, mga first picks dito. Kagaya na nakuha ni Suna dito sa LB by getting revenge immediately. Revenge trying to gain an advantage gamit yung maliit na angle dito sa may SD side para kaita dito sa store. Unfortunately, he got hit twice by an ompare. No, he did and ngayon... And slowing it down ang Pacific Mac tapos ZYK you take one down I'll take one back ngayon naging equalized na yung numbers because of the great initiative na tinik dito ni ZYK and Chuma QT masyadong uminit I don't think he really needed to repeat that and naparusahan siya ni ZYK and now B site can be open for them and Setra now if he does oh, lose this Setra. gunfight then it oh, definitely no, opens up the site to him and mukhang si ZYK is a puesto na pero si Setra ang una makakahanap sa ulo ni ZYK Pacific Magta now stuck dito sa mid side and I think they want to perform and execute here smoke grenade sinapon flashbangs will come out and this looks like it's gonna be an A hit yep a hit is the only option unless actually gusto nila no. overwhelm dito si Zetra. I mean, it is an AWM na mag-isa lang dito sa B side. So flash na lang sila papunta dito sa B pero Zetra, can you hit the shots Wait, wow. with the sniper kit from Tondo at si Jbice? Kailangan pang lumipat from to the from the A side to the B side and tama ang decision dito na Makta. Zetra on his own with the sniper, he cannot deal with three players pushing at the same time unless he hit the first shot. Kid from Tondo and Jbice. Nasal pa dito ng entrance B. Great nade galing kay J-Bice, pero MBA. The angle is too good dito sa batteries to get those two players. So, Makta getting the first one on the board. And you do have a point earlier in sinabi mo, no? I think they should not challenge yung LB anymore knowing na nasa kanila na 4v5 advantage. At most, 
gusto mo na lang magstay sa loob ng store so you can actually gain some information from hearing yung mga footsteps maybe papuntang CB maybe papunta dito sa store bin natin and just create an entirely new crossfire pero peeking again is not is not the move dito pare you really want to you really want to keep your advantage in terms of the numbers but I think the main reason why I'm back at pick si Chuma is to try and get the trade at the same time. Maybe potential information dito sa LB para makita nila kung B-side ba talaga yung uh, gusto ng kuhin dito na makta. Gusto ko din point out no yung mid round call pagkatapos na na matay si ZYK don din sa kay Zetra sa kamay sa B. Uh, I think it was very smart of Pacific Makta nung mid round call nila sinabi nila punta din tayo dito sa B. Yung sniper and dito sa B, it's a very big chance na mag-isa lang siya dito. And the call was correct. So that goes to show no kung gaano kataas ang game sense or kumbaga yung talino na nakuha na ng Pacific Makta, especially pagdating na sa mga mid-rounding na there's many variables and there's many positions na hindi ka pasanay na laruin. And I think Sunday Shrooms, just from that one alone, it was, it, they really got caught off guard with that initial take. So now, if there is a difference nga sa kanilang laro, I would say Pacific Makta pala, sila yung mas maganda, mas planchado ang kanilang mid-round. So, I want to see, uh, you know, a, a little bit more from the side of Sunday Shrooms kung gusto nila umawi dito. Pero mukhang Pacific Makta, a hit ata ang gusto nilang gawin at nagbabantay dito si Kid from Tondo ilan ba ang pwede niyang kunin dito hindi niya nalaman na may tao dito sa LA as flashbang surely should be thrown out dito from Pacific Makta and the execute can come mm -hmm. LA push though pakasa nakabantay na dito yung Sunday Shroom so they're expecting Makta na lalabas dito sa long the question is kailan ba sila lalabas dito and 20 seconds is the time to go, Zetra, Kid from no, Tondo, Chuba Cutie, getting all the players dito sa LA. And that is the thing, man. Pag nasa loob na ng A, yung mga GR natin, in that type of fashion, and nasa LA sila dadaan, in just one choke point, it's an easy clear para dito sa Sunday Shrooms. And Mata maybe a bit too... Uh... A bit too, paano ba sabihin? A bit too focused dito sa kanilang game plan. Uh -huh. Not really exploring the map at all kung uh, ano pang ibang opportunities meron dito. May utility ba sila nung nangyari yun? Pero it doesn't matter now. Okay, headshot. Galing kay Suna. Wala na si ZYK who has been a pain in their side. Kahit dalawang rounds pa lang ito, no? He's been very much the reason why they were able, why Pacific Mac was even able to get first blood here. So, ngayon, Sunday Shrooms. Tigilan na and Pacific Makta back to the drawing board kumbaga and I, I, gusto ko pag-usapan yung last round na nangyari no? tama ka nga isang choke point na lang ang naiwan dito para sa side ng Pacific Makta at saka gulat ako di ko alam ha baka mali ako so correct me if I'm wrong here Sneaky did they hmm. throw proper utility pagpasok nila dun sa site mismo? I think they did maybe a single flash but at the same time, it is LA you're pushing from, pare. Like yeah, there's true. only one entrance that you can get into, and uh, halos tatlo na niyong katutok dito sa Pacific Makta in that uh, very small entrance pa punta dito na A side. So I really don't recommend yung LA push, especially kung wala pa kayong na explore dito sa mapa like curve and or mid, maybe LB, but revenge. Ako po, nakalagpas na store B. He's gonna go for the peak sa window. And nakuha na, na si Chuma, who was on the side dito na store B, trying to hide his head. Pero hindi siya, di na siya makakatago sa sniper ni Revenge. Suna might be trying to go for a peak dito sa entrance B. Pero the priorities are all whack para sa side ng Sunday Shrooms. Kasi apat na lang sila dito. They need to maybe give one part of the map. Pero B-side yata ang hinahanap dito na Makta. Hindi pa naman all the way na nakapasok ng store B dito yung Makta pero still the advantage para sa kanila dito. They can actually mm. throw someone into the site as long as they get the trade. Ang tanong, makukuha ba nila yung trade? Soon ha. Nakabantay dito sa ilalim. Flashbang tinapon na. Papasok na dito. Ang buhos ng Pacific Makta. NBA. Mm. Dalawa nakahanap. Galing dyan sa entry. At now, smoke grenades. Tinapon sa isang entry na pwedeng pasukan ng Sunday Shrooms. Mahirap to pasukan kung ikaw yung nasa GR side. The retake looking more and more impossible as Sunday Shrooms just still outside the site. And now there's 25 seconds left at kung pumasok ka, mauhuli ka. MBA just Holding it down, a firing squad going to side of Pacific Mactra, and this should go to the side of Pacific Mactra. Setra, though, on thing laban, pero ultimately, 
Ayan na. Pacific Mac na naman ang kukuha dito ng lamang. Yep, MVA hunting for the 4K. But it's fine to do exactly that. Kung nasa B-site naman yung mapaplant nyo. EB is the only way that you can get inside. Zetra, I think there was a bit of intention na babalik pa siya ng CB. So they can gain a flank. Pero feeling niya na it's a bit too late. 25 seconds na lang yung bomba. And uh, going all the way around would just waste more time para sa Sunday Shrooms. Pero Makta, Revenge gonna try and gain an angle galing dito sa store mid. Kid from Tondo watching dito sa may Z side. Pero wala naman dun yung sniper. Zetra, somewhere else dito sa mapa natin. Pero dahil nga nakuha na ng Pacific Makta itong middle area, the map becomes a lot smaller para sa kanila dito. But yung defense ng Sunday Shrooms though is pretty passive. Hindi naman sila nagkaharap dito sa mid. Uh, gulat ako sa side ng, pas ng Sunday Shrooms. Alam talaga nila na kunin. Dapat nila kunin yung LB as Zetra. Nahulog na sa kamay ni Revenge. Mukhang mm -hmm. gising na ang ating sniper galing sa side ng Pacific Makta. And now, LA push na naman to. They do have one less person na nag-hold dito sa site. So, it's very much possible for the side of Pacific Makta. Pasok na. Walang tinapong utility. Dire-direcho lang. Daming spray down. Napakahabang gunfight para si MBA. The entry as he is. Dalawa ang kanyang nahanap. The retake. Again, for the side of Sunday Shrooms. 2v5. Lahat ng miyambo ng Pacific Makta. Buhay na buhay pa. As... Okay, revenge. Di niya nakita ang isang kalaban na dumadaan dyan sa mid and the timing is not on his favor as okay nakita na niya Suna naipit na di siya na di na siya makalusot at revenge gamit ng kanyang pistol closes that round Pacific Makta tatlo ang kanilang rounds yep Makta actually Makta playing pretty standard dito sa compound though I mean they're just taking mid uh, revenge obviously taking itong tower Zetra trying to challenge dito sa may mid side para mamatay agad si Revenge which would be a big pick off para sa Sunday Shrooms if makuha ang anila sniper that means there's no longer a threat looming dito sa A site and or sa curve and Makta knowing their priorities dito sa compound and now they're gonna go a bit passive I think alam nila na Sunday Shrooms since down na sila dito sa game natin they're gonna try to go for something risky like yun nga triple LB na nakikita natin ngayon pero Ay, nabasa ata ito ng Pacific Makta no? yeah, tingnan mo ba know. naman it's a great crunch Magandang maganda to. Okay, MVA first contact. He's the man for the NT. Two man QT. The re first on DYK. Ulog na ang tatlong member dito galing sa LP for the side of Sunday Shrooms. B site. Bukas na bukas para sa site ng Pacific Makta. And just like the two previous rounds Zetra. that we've seen, it looks like an impossible retake for the side of Sunday Shrooms. C4 binaba smokes. Na, nandyan na at yung depensa ng Pacific Mactay mukhang it's fine, matikas kaso nga lang Setra finding one it may be fine but it may be not as tik na madali ang mga member dito ng Pacific Mactay and suddenly it's a one on one 20 seconds madami pang oras dito sniper hawak ni Setra alam ba niya kung saan nakapweso si MBA location Spotted. Mm. Wala. Pacific Makta. MBA closes the round for Pacific Makta on a round na mukhang na nakawin sana ng Sunday Shrooms yan. That was a bit dangerous. Honestly, galing sa Makta, nakalagpas na dito si Suna sa may box ng B. Meron pa isa sa entrance for Setra for that sniper cover from the frame and the store B side. And it's still a plan MBA. para dito sa store B. MBA can just do exactly that. Watching yung bomb, watching yung C4 and making sure that it does explode. But before that, he went for the kill anyways. But MVA na naman, nagpaparamdam dito. Zetra already down. That means the sniper is gone. Para sa side ng Sunday Shrooms. And the map becomes a lot harder. Para dito sa Sunday Shrooms. Someone needs to go for a risk. Maybe CB. Maybe itong SD. And Makta, knowing na down na sa numbers dito ng Sunday Shrooms, they might go for an LA push. Pero meron, silang, meron pa rin silang presence dito sa con to try and cancel yung mga ibang rotations dito. So, tingin mo kaya, Sneaky Frog, ba't palagi pinipilit ng Pacific Makta itong LA push? This is the third time that they have done it in this uh, map, no? And it's only been five rounds. So, there we go. MBA with a gantry once again. Papasok na din dito sa A-side. And they should just be able to take it right now. Justin with the follow-up, mm. finding two, and even the nandito si Suna on a 1B4. It's it, it's incredible. At parang alam nila yung Sunday Shrooms, walang kasagot-sagot dito sa kanilang A hit every single time. So it's now just a cleanup for the side of Pacific Makta. 
may lamang na naman sila and Sunday shrooms kailangan nila umabot dito somehow kailangan nila mag comeback but it looks like it's too much for them to handle Yep, Nakta, at the moment, yun nga, they're just playing their system. Dito sa mapa ng compound, it's nothing really too complicated para sa kanila dito. But, okay. ooh, a bit Mid. of an aggressive play galing sa side ng Sunday Shrooms. Meron na nakapasok ng CB, and this could be a two-man B-push. Zetra actually inside of it, revenge caught. Dito sa LB natin, MVA is gone as well. So that means it's a three-man operation para sa side ng Makta. Chuma QT down sa CA. Meron pa naman tao na nasa loob ng CB. Pwede istorbohin dito si Justin. Pero Makta kakalma muna dito sa mapa natin. Zetra with the sniper has gotten revenge already at pwede pa siyang lumabas dito sa B to gain an additional kill sa con mid. But instead, Sunday Shrooms, satisfied na sila sa kanilang lead and they are just gonna play yung angles nila dito. Tama yan. Great call. This time, more active na depensa galing sa side ng Sunday Shrooms. Napaka-aktibo na. Pero ngayon, Pacific Makta, May basa sila na onte dito. Smoke grenades na naman ginagawa nila dito sa midside. Denying information from both A and B. At di mo na mamalayan kung anong site nila ang kukunin. Kaso nga lang, parang insert lang. Iniwan si Justin papunta dito sa B site. And it might be an actually an A hit, no? Pero okay, nagsasama na sila ulit. May flank galing sa kanilang likod. Uh, then nakita, kaso nga lang, may katulong. Dave able to fight for one more and ZYK Ooh. and Justin. Itong batang to, nagpapakita na siya ng kanyang lakas. And Cetra with a pistol can take out Justin. Silver headshot. And last but not the least is ZYK. Wala sa kanya ang C4 at si Cetra. Dalawang angulong kailangan niyang panoorin niya dito at natimingan siya. Pagtalikod mo, nandyan na si ZYK para kunin ang isa pang round para sa side ng Pacific Makta. This is very frustrating para sa Sunday Shrooms. So that's the closest round uh, so far other than their first na they, they can gain a point. Pero at the end of the day, ZYK, just a lot more clutch. Zetra expecting a timing galing sa curve. And it didn't work out in his favor. Pare. Makta almost had an incident dito sa mapa natin. But then they recovered really well. Juma though, nakuha na kasi MVA who's always having presence dito sa may con mid natin. And it's a 4v5 para sa Makta, but still you can't count them out because of this. Zetra being alive dito sa mapa natin is a huge thing. Pero Chuma really making sure na okay. walang makakapasok dito sa CB from the side of Makta. Zik na hulog narin dahil dito kay Zetra. Aldrin has yet to get, get a kill in this entire game. Pero may gin true until now. Yes, it will. And Suna and Chuma. Gaining the last two, pero grabe si Chuma doon pare. Pinasok lang yung CB, making sure that Makta will not get that mid-control as they expected every single round. And Sunday Shrooms, nakuha na nila yung pakalawa. Sunday Shrooms, kung gusto nila gumawa ng comeback kahit pa paano, kailangan nila panalunan tong round na to. Agresibo, Tsuna. Pero nakatakas na muli nung nakita niya na madaming miyembro ng Pacific Makta ay nandyan na pala nakapuesto sa LB. LB, napunta na sa kamay ng Pacific Makta. Ma yung mapa nila, lumalaki. Sa kabilang parte ng mapa naman, nakikita mo, Sunday Shrooms, aktibo sila dyan sa LA. And pwede sila makahanap ng Pacific Makta mem na members na hindi na makakala. Nandyan na pala sila opuesto. Pero mukhang magsasama-sama na sila dito sa LB and the C4. Naiwan na nga dyan, may isang split sa mid, si Aldrin. Let's see if this will work for them. Mm -hmm. Pinabagalan na naman. Naghihintay ng tamang paraan, ng tamang timing. Okay, nakapwesto na, nakapasok na din itong si MVA. And now he just needs to find this entry. Siguro naghihintay yung smoke para bumaba. And more sooner rather than yourself. later, they need to do this. But it does look like they're gonna change their mind. Change of heart. Galing sa side ng Pacific Mac and it might be an LA take here. Mm -hmm. Mag-iiwan lang sila ng isang player dito sa store B And that player sa store B is gonna look for Maybe some distraction dito sa B side Para mag-rotate yung ibang players ng Sunday Shrooms And still, it's another LA attempt Para sa side ng Pacific Makta And they need someone to make presence dito sa may mid side as well Para hindi lahat ng focus ng mga A-defenders natin 
dito lang sa LA. Pero meron na nakabantay sa dulo. And that's Kid from Tondo. Wala siyang sniper though. So very vulnerable lang kanyang Ooh. position if ever na nakapik dun si Revenge. But the nades are gonna start to fly dito sa A side. Pero kailangan nila na pumasok na mabilisan dito. Zetra already on the 2F side. Chuma lumabas ng CB. Nakuha na si Aldrin ng tower. And stuck ang Pacific Macta dito sa LA. Suna. Nakuha na si Zeke and Justin MVA Revenge. Kailangan na nila pumasok dito. Kailangan na nila ibaba yung C4. Pero harap-harapan na sa kalaban. Huh? Justin, he sneaks a C4 plant. Ako po, nakalabas pa sila ng LA. How does he do that? Apparently, it works out. Pero ngayon, that was, that was plan one. Tapos, the second plan, kailangan nila panalunin yung post plant na to. Smoke, inaapol, lumabas, Sunday shrooms. Kaso nga lang, firing spot oh, ng Pacific Macta. Hindi ma-hold. Oh. Kasi si Suna at si J-Base kukunin yung round na yun para sa Sunday shroom. They so desperately needing it. At nakakita mo yung camera, medyo natutuwa ang Sunday shrooms dun sa round na yun. Yeah, I like na hindi nag-panic dun yung Sunday shrooms despite yung C4 plant that usually makes any team shake yung ganun na sitwasyon and especially with how hard of a retake LA is alam naman ng Sunday Shrooms na nasa kanila ang bilangan dito sa round na yun and it is pretty much fine Justin though pushing dito sa my B site natin they got to already J Vice Tuna Chuma down MBA. and MBA nakaisali na rin dito sa push papuntang B site Zetra na lang natitira and MBA gets a 3k in the round and Pacific Macta going aggressive sa compound they don't want Sunday Shrooms to start off with a win dito sa second half. Aha, uh -huh. yung ag pagiging agresibo ng Pacific Macta at mukhang uulitin na naman nila dito. Muli as, wala kala kung uulitin nila pero mid, tapunan ng ng utility. Tapos ngayon, balikan sa pwesto nito. Maganda ang read na ginawa ng Pacific Macta dito at na binigla nila ang Sunday Shrooms sa kanilang ginawang call. So now, Sunday Shrooms, takot na sila or at least may pinapag hindi na nila kukunin to ng mabilisan ang LB kasi baka may mga miyembro na ng Pacific Mac ano nakapwesto ng tama Woo! and ayun na nga Justin is that man ni for alam na kung nasaan galing sa side ng Pacific Mac tap pwede naman nila ibigay pasok nga lang it is just gonna take some time mm. as DYK gamit ng kanyang AWM nakahanap pa ng isa pa lalo as Justin cleaning up the numbers Sunday Shrooms nirapan na sila dito and now they just need yeah. to play out time at ang Pacific Mac that their position really really great right now yeah kid from Tondo ano bang kaya mong gawin dito CB position occupied by him pero yung mga ibang members ng Pacific Mac that already taking over the rest of the map and Grabe naman yung ginagawa ng Makta dito. Pinush lang nila yung LB all the way into SD and nakuha pa nga ang C4. So, kid from Tondo, nakita na si Aldrin. Aldrin still killless dito sa game natin and it could be true. Revenge, nakita na nga. And Aldrin finally turning around just in time. Medyo kinabahan pa nga. And he gets his first kill of the game. Revenge with a good spot. 8-3, to three. Makta 2 points away from taking itong compound. Yan ang sinasabi ko, Pacific Mac just showing off once again yung kanilang lakas pagdating sa kanilang depensa. Kung de-depensa talaga sila, parang pader. Nahihirapan ka, dumaan, nahihirapan ka, tumawid. Sa ngayon, tingnan mo ba naman ang pwestuhan ng Sunday Shrooms? Napaka-passive, perhaps too passive. Kahit, kahit, i, kahit kaliit ng piece, no? ng lupa, wala sa kanilang kamay. Well, di nila alam kung may mga member ba ng Pacific Macta dyan sa LB di nila alam kung meron dyan sa window dyan sa mid di nila alam nahirapan naman sila dito and ngayon nati nakikita mo yung orasan pababa ng pababa Pacific Macta more than happy to wait this out yeah and this is not good Galing kay Kid from Tondo, man. I mean, uh, granted, si Aldrin Ren is kind of struggling to gain any frags dito sa mapa natin Kid from Tondo has yet to find one for the past 11 rounds. So, we're gonna wait and see kung ano yung game plan dito na Sunday Shrooms. And Makta deciding to switch things up. Kanina pa sila aggressive. So, ngayon, mayiging passive naman sila. At most, yung pinaka-forward na player is the player na nasa loob na Store B and sa Store A. Pero, tamang uh, surveying of the map lang ginagawa dito na Sunday Shrooms. Making sure na nakuha nila yung CD control CA and con mid. Pero si okay. YK almost caught dito sa Store B. He has to back off immediately. Si Suna looking for that opening but he's just gonna back off. 50 seconds na lang though. Ang ganda ng delay dito na Makta. And because of the lack of information, 
hindi makapush dito, hindi makapush dito yung Sunday shrooms, at least they cannot push with a surefire game plan just yet, pare. Yeah, walang tulak, walang kapirasong lupa. Tingnan mo ba naman, mid-side. Nandyan pa rin sila. 30 seconds lang ang naiwan dito. Wala pang, parang wala pa silang idea. Wala pa silang plano. So, kung anong site ang kailangan nila kunin. Ngayon, LA, mukhang ang kanilang decision. Kaso nga lang, it has to be this. Kasi kung hindi, malalugi sila. NBA, starting them out. Confirming to the members of Pacific Macta na A-site talaga ang kailangan nilang kunin. Justin, revenge, holding it down. Galing sa kabilang party ng mapa. T4 will take some of that. Kaso nga lang si Revenge, alam niya. Sabi nila, nagawa na natin yan last round. Kami naman, alam namin paano i-counter yan. 9 to 3, score half. Pacific Macta, map point na ngayon. Yep, 9 to 3, Pacific Macta. Getting exactly what they needed, forcing itong Sunday Shrooms in an LA push. And alam mo naman yung LA push, we've already said it time and time again. Napakahira pumasok doon, especially when the numbers are on the side of Pacific Pacta. Pero Revenge with a nice hold in C1. So, very nice time para dito sa Pacta in the compound so far. And this is a map pick ng Sunday Shrooms. So, yep. them losing this first game is not gonna bode well para sa rest of the series nila. Considering Black Widow pa kayo next map natin, one of Macta's classics. And Justin though, unang nahulog dito sa round natin, z K looking for the trade gamit yung angle dito sa my store B, pero kailangan niya na lumabas, spotted na siya dito. And Macta is gonna go passive. However, hindi pa to tapos para sa side ng Sunday Shrooms. Kailangan pa nila pumasok ng store B, kailangan pa nila pumasok ng mid in order to gain more control sa mapa natin. But still, Macta denying a lot of it. Yeah. Kaya on Pacific Bacta, maganda pa rin ang kanilang pwestuhan dito as at least uh, sa Sunday Shrooms, mid-side, gusto na pumasok, NBA, no, hello! Isa, dalawa, tatlo! Muntik pa siya makapaghanap ng apat dyan, Alden finding his second kill of this game! Suna, B-side, nakapasok! Kaso nga lang, dalawa pa, galing sa side ng Pacific Mactay, nabubuhay na, revenge, muntik na na mahulog, the duo, the two Terminators, we're gonna clean it up for Pacific Mactay, and mm. too much for Suna to handle Pacific Macta ang mananalo dito sa map pick ng Sunday Shrooms, pare. Yep, Macta, just a good, clean compound game, galing sa kanila dito, nothing too much in the way of trouble. And they finally get their first map win in the group stage. Now they just have to finish off the rest of the series. And Black Widow is going to be up 